Sooner or later, you're bound to come across this symbol here. We use it to denote what's sometimes called syntactical consequence, which is consequence within a deductive system. And in this brief video, we're just gonna see where the symbol gets used and what it means. So the basic idea is that this symbol denotes syntactic entailment. A set of premises syntactically entail a conclusion if a proof can be constructed from the premises to the conclusion on some deductive system, for example, Fitch. So here's a straightforward example of this. P and Q syntactically entail Q. It's raining and the ground is wet entails the ground is wet. And what the symbol means is that we can construct a proof of Q on the basis of P and Q. Now it often happens that we want to talk about different systems in logic, and we can talk about different syntactic entailments by adding in a little subscript. So for instance, if P entails a contradiction, then in Fitch, we can derive not P. But there are other systems, for instance, intuitionistic logic, on which P entailing a contradiction does not mean that we're entitled to infer not P. Now in order to distinguish these, we can put a little I here for intuitionism, and we can strike out the turnstile or tack, and this tells us that if from P we're able to derive a contradiction, that nevertheless does not syntactically entail not P on our logical system I, which we're just using here to denote intuitionism. So very often we'll use subscripts in this way to distinguish different notions of syntactic entailment, especially when one system will allow us to derive something that another system won't. And the more general way of writing it out is just this subscript D for deductive system. You'll see this fairly often. We can generalize in this way saying if a deductive system allows us to derive such and such and so on and so forth. That's just what this symbol means and it's sometimes referred to as the turnstile or tack. 